Welcome back to Halo. Um, oh, wow, you can even pick the different things. I didn't know that. I know. Uh, options. Um, I'm coming right off to this after... <clears throat> Excuse me. After recording the last episode, so um, I don't feel too bad about starting my conversation from where I left it. Uh, but first, I'm going to shut up so I can go through this cutscene. So the Covenant knows, the Covenant is also aware that Reach is a high value target. And also knows that. It's probably a good idea to try and take down Reach. So they're just rushing to get to here so they can start to screw up plans as quick as they possibly could. elites so yeah they're just trying to rush all the way to here to just bear it down as quick as they can um because they know So they're already just bombarding us with dropships and just getting as much people as they can here. It's like a for real infestation. So yeah, the regenerating shield is actually something I wanted to talk about. Um, for those who don't know, prior to, uh, prior to Halo, really, um, shooters and a lot of games were known for not having regenerating health. If you took damage, you were kind of just screwed and stuck with your low health, so... You know, get good, don't get hit. It's that Dark Souls mentality, because Dark Souls is not a new game. Dark Souls is just a remake of a billion old games at once. You know? They had the same idea, I see. Oh boy. Uh, Halo was semi-revolutionary in that they had this regenerating shield. And then one of the few games where regenerating health actually does make sense. In Call of Duty, there's really no reason that health should regenerate. Everyone's just a normal, like, human. And supernatural stuff doesn't... or supernatural. Like, science fiction doesn't even come into the games until way, way later. Like, ten years into Call of Duty. And so, in this game, the regenerating shield makes perfect sense. It's an energy shield. It regenerates, such is its nature. 
in Call of Duty, a random marine crouching next to a wall should not regrow back the limb that he just lost. But yeah, part of this, um, games didn't have regenerating health. This game was one of the first to have it, and I'm gonna go back and grab the DMR. This game was one of the first ones to have it, this franchise at least. And it was something that, like, changed a lot of stuff, because now it means that the game can always be designed, that the player has full health, because they basically always will. Because the health regenerates. In some games, that's a bad thing, because it means that mandatory damage can become a thing. It means that you don't really have to think about health values, and it just removes a level of it, but this game was designed around it from the ground up, so I don't mind it in that sense. Oh, look at that. That DMR I went back for was useless. The hell off my lawn. So in addition to that thing in the sky, they're also dropping tanks. Not that. That. There we go. I think this is the only level the target designator shows up in, and I don't know why. It's great. Just point out where you want to shoot, and then stuff starts getting shot. And there are some, there are some like missions where excuse me, I'm just trying to not die. Where uh, wraiths are a for real problem. Damn, it's all for nothing. I don't know why the tar uh, target designator never comes up. And it's not exactly, like, transparent. But it's... It almost feels like, oh, Call of Duty did this. Well, here's the... Here, here's the airstrike, you know? You guys like this? And granted, it's not the first time Halo's done that. Firefight is just horde mode from... I want to say Gears of War in the first. Oh, is Cat stuck in there? Jeez. That was dumb. Shouldn't have done that. Just like with a Spartan laser, you can kind of hold down the button and start charging it up before you actually have a target to hit with it. And then when it's go time, you can just blitz them. Oops. This is another armor ability. Reach is kind of uh, new with the armor abilities. It allows... Uh, I really like the armor abilities. It allows more versatility in gameplay because the character will always have new stuff to do. What the hell? Um, whether or not... This is embarrassing, by the way. This is a long level, too. I don't need this. But yeah, the player will always have stuff to do that isn't just gun or other gun. Because this game also has a very small inventory. Of just two guns and occasionally a secret third gun that you can get sometimes. Oh, those guys are doomed. So yeah, having something that isn't a gun is cool. And the fact that it's these rad ass armor abilities is also really neat. Armor lock makes you perfectly invincible, but you have to remain still. And it's also really dangerous for, for people to come up on you while you're armor locking because uh, you EMP anything next to you. Nice. Yeah, 30 points. I did it. Now I'm not a dumbass. But in addition to um, Halo being one of the only games to have a justification for regenerating health, it's also one of the only games for it to make sense in the story. Hell yeah, it was. That was incredible. 
Um, because every character that has regenerating health is one of, like, is one of, like, severe, what am I trying to say here? Aggression, almost? They know what they're about. So in case you weren't listening. Never mind. I wasn't listening because I was talking. Basically, they explained that um, there's an AA gun, anti-air gun, that'll help handle stuff in the sky. Guys, he's dead. Uh, that'll handle stuff in the sky and help get everyone the hell out of sword base. So we're going to cart over there and we're going to handle it. That's a wraith. That thing's a problem. If you could follow up, that would be great. Sometimes it blows my mind how much better I am at Halo than I was as a kid. Just playing through everything on easy mode. In later, in the games after this, in Halo uh, 4, they actually allow you to have a gun and, sorry, an armor ability and sprint, I think. Because just not having sprint kind of sucks. Okay, generator's up and running. Find that comms array. Should be up high. Yeah, Noble Six is a dude who just doesn't give up. It's something I actually really like. In that cutscene where, uh... the elite runs up on him. Six is like totally about to die, right? And he just really doesn't care and just totally decks the elite in the face. It's such a small character thing, but like, yeah, I like that. That's how you characterize, jeez, that's how you characterize a silent protagonist. And it's why, it's why it makes sense for these characters to have regenerating health. Because like, yeah, their whole thing is that they don't give up, so their health will always come back, because they'll always come back. Until the last time, which is something that happens in this game. I would say it's a spoiler, but your helmet is... Oh boy. Not going well. But your helmet is actually uh, the one on Reach. It didn't so happen that I picked the helmet of the guy who dies. No, that's my helmet. Consider your clock clean, sir. <laughs> so yeah, as a character thing, I love that. I love that so, so much. There's a. There's fellas. Sorry, I'm being so quiet. Um, this game isn't exactly, you know, hard, but on this mode, it isn't easy. Though actually, um, I believe Marty said this. Uh, Marty O'Donnell, one of the. I don't know if he was one of the developers, actually. I know that he was the composer, the go-to guy for composing, in fact. But uh, he said that Heroic was the difficulty that they intended for this game, and that Normal were for people who wanted an easy mode, but uh, were embarrassed to play on easy. Oh, jeez, dude. It scared me. Um... So yeah, Six is someone who just never gives up and doesn't give a fuck. That'll do. Later, though. <laughs> wow. 
what is happening down here. Six, check the structure to the north for that red. You got it. So we could let Cat drive us, but that's a fool's errand. I could kick her out as well, but I'm not going to do that either. This is faster. over. Or you know what? I could. Yeah, why not? Why fight this war? Yeah, why bother? Cat can do it. I always much preferred the Covenant vehicles to the... Much prefer the Covenant vehicles to the human ones. Mostly because pretty much every Covenant vehicle has a gun on it. Cat's having issues, guys. I did see my ammo count. So elites also have access to armor lock. I think they explain this in story in that it's just a similar ability that both uh, races have just because it's pretty damn useful. And also, oh, you bastards. Wow, that was pretty sweet, actually. All right. Oh, you're alive, huh? I wondered where your gun went. So the thing that he's got is a plasma launcher. It shoots uh, plasma grenades, essentially. Those things that I hate? Yeah, those. Not ideal. Oh, wow, you're just here, huh? chance you can kill yourself? That would be really ideal for me. I'm just tucking and roll all over the place. There you go. You get unscoped as soon as you get hit, so not getting hit is the ideal way to snipe, naturally. So something nice, there we go. Something common I see in a lot of uh, military fiction, people love seeing the government spend money on guns. I don't know what it is, well I do know what it is. It's that Americans are weird about their military. I know I'm hit. Oh, is there an elite in there? Damn it. Should I save my rockets? Don't worry, guys. She's got her tiny little regular gun. That'll save us. So plasma guns don't uh, 
get reloaded, but they can overheat. Damn. That's alright, I got a checkpoint. Keep fighting until a cutscene says I can, right? That's the Spartan way. Man, and speaking of that, I've got the ultimate cutscene gun. Alright. That went better than I really expected that it could have. He really gave me the benefit of the doubt. He was curious as to where I was going with that. ASAP is a military uh, shorthand for as soon as possible, by the way. Not everyone knows it. My wife laughed at me in the background. I didn't know that for a while. I thought it was just a word I didn't know. I was an idiot when I first played these games. And also like 8, but that's completely unrelated. There are smart 8-year-olds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So fighting enemies is optional, which means that the fastest thing to do is just run away. That's what the real heroes do. Oh, also, um, this is a minor thing that I really like, but every single Covenant ship or every single Covenant like land vehicle, or small vehicle rather, is named after uh, a Earth mythological undead. So that big pink tank that I was driving around is a revenant. This little guy is a ghost. Uh, the big tanks that I airstruck, airstruck, airstriked, those are wraiths. And later on, we'll see banshees. Comparatively, humans. Uh, human vehicles are named after animals, usually mammals, I believe. So the little the little ATV is a uh, is a mongoose. That truck that we were driving in is called a warthog. Man, as soon as like first person shooters found out about the helmet, they were like, "Oh damn, we gotta put that in everything." And then everyone had their one like their their free like helmet you know always just survive your one headshot jeez they cleaned me plasma grenades are particularly dangerous because they stick to uh, the target I forget how um, I believe it's either some sort of weird radiation that only plasma grenades have but it might also be that they just get so hot they melt into the armor or flesh or whatever of whatever it is they are thrown at that's also why they glow for a second afterward. They're venting gas. Let's try to be more aggressive this time. We're stalled in the tower atria. Cat, where are you? I digress, but yeah, um People love seeing like military fiction, people love seeing the government just vent cash. There's a there's a level later on where like they just launch into space for a couple of minutes. And like I think about that scene a lot. Like, how much money was that? You know? How much money are we shooting into space? Like every ship has two Vulcan cannons. There's one ship per member of Noble Six. How much money are we blowing on this? It was you. I didn't know there was a second elite. On the grassy knoll. Actually, let me grab one of these. Let me see if I can do the do the noob combo. There it is. So if you saw that extra reticle, when you charge up a full plasma, it actually tracks onto its opponent. And then with that, you can actually uh, pop the shield in one go. Unless you are on Legendary with the Mythic Skull on, because Legendary doubles enemy health, and Mythic doubles Legendary health. So every enemy has quadruple health. Oh yeah, these fellas. Hell yeah. 
These are called hunters. They're actually called Legolo. I'll look at them further, but they are... They're, they're the heaviest heavy in the military that isn't a vehicle. They're practically a tank, considering how big they are. Oh, hi. They form uh, pair bonds, which is why they always show up in pairs. They have a familial pair bond. And this is this is a cultural thing, by the way. This isn't like this is this is canon. Oh, it's you. Excuse me, sir. Wow. All right. Uh, I'm gonna clean out the elite first, and then I'm gonna go to the uh, hunters. So they're also called Legolo, I believe. That's their uh, species name. And in that form, they are uh, Magalagolo. Just clean these out. Hey guys, try not to get shot. But yeah, Magalagolo. There we go. This shotgun, by the way, pisses me off. It's just as good as an Earth shotgun, and that's kind of weird. You'd think that in the billion years it's been since Halo, like, takes place. Earth technology would have evolved in the way of guns, but it really hasn't. And part of that is just for recognizability, like, you know... Jeez. They really got me. Part of that's just recognizability, like, you know, we want people to tell that this is a shotgun and these are earth weapons. But also, man, you'd think that their tech would have been better. I don't know. Kind of bugs me. That was, a, that was the best throw ever. They're so tough, they can actually hunker down and use those shields to protect themselves pretty fastidiously. Hey, thanks for drawing their fire, cat. Precisely what I needed. Oh, that ain't good. Oh. Alright. That went better than I thought it would have. Cool. Oh, you can really see his jaw here. See how it opens up like that. It's multi-jointed. You can see his B little eyes. Anyway. So plasma grenades stick to them because they're mostly organic. They're just wearing armor. They don't have shields, if I remember, so I'm not actually doing anything besides wasting ammo here. But that's cool. Hmm. Well, there's your rock and there's your hard place. Jeez! Uh, you can see there that their blood's orange. That's very interesting. Uh, I believe orange blood does show up in a few Earth races. But still, it's, uh... I can take care of them first. Because if the Elite stays in his office... Hold on, I've got it. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. I've killed you like ten times, dude. Lord, you got me. He drops grenades, though. That's actually interesting. There we go. Excuse me, excuse me. So yeah, Legolo, and then in this form they're called Megalagolo because they have more than one form. 
And we might be able to see why that is. They're hemorrhaging blood at a rapid state. I'm trying to use the frag grenade on their squishy bodies because I can roll it towards them. Because yes, their bodies are squishy. I've been kind of beating them around the bush because I want you to be able to see it. But they're actually not a single organism. You can kind of see it there. But they are uh, a colony of worms squished into a humanoid shape. Yep, got one. Uh, which is actually is not great for me because uh, I mentioned that they're pair bonded. The other one gets real mad that I killed their uh, wife goo. Husband goo, brother goo. I never noticed that the uh, crystals bounce off. I wonder if that's a new thing as of the remaster. Uh, Office of Naval Intelligence is Oni, by the way. Like, yes, it's a like obvious like acronym of like we want this to be an acronym for Oni, but the word Oni isn't just a cool like word choice. For those who don't know, Oni is one of the Japanese words for like a demon. Um, although, oh, uh, demon isn't always necessarily the closest translation for it. Some say it's more like ogre. You killed my worm wife. He's mad at me, guys. I'm gonna try to... Yeah, you can really see it there. All those worm goo. So yeah, this is actually a collection of worms kind of squished together into a humanoid shape and then put into armor. This armor isn't powered, they're just that strong. Alright. That was messy, but I got it. Um, yeah. Legolo, and then when they were squishing to this form, uh, Legolo. Legolo? Um, this is, I believe, a fuel rod cannon just attached to... Well, it's not really their arm because it's just a mass of worm anyway. But yeah, Legolo form into these, like, colonies, essentially. And when they get too big, they divide into these. Uh, into these pair bonds. And they almost form, like, a... Almost more like a coral than a normal, like, colony because they have, like, shape. And then when they squish themselves together, they become like this big old walking worm boy. They are one of my coolest, they're one of my favorite designs in Halo, they're one of the coolest. Uh, and I love that they have no rank, you know? Because we've seen a lot of different... Oh. <laughs> that was incredible. Because we've seen a bunch of different ranks for like grunts and such. I'll point them out if I see them. Yeah, that's the basic baby grunt. And you can see another uh, basic baby grunt over there, but with a different back. And then these little, like, brass elites are pretty low tier. I believe so, at least. And then you got the white elites, but hunters don't appear to have rank, which means that they might not, in like, either understand it, because, and it would make sense, because they live in a colony, like... They're essentially a communist species. Everyone is equal. Ooh, audio, is that audio desync I hear? Oh, that's an ally, I guess. As shotguns go, Halo has uh, one I don't particularly love. Few things will ever beat the Doom shotgun, either of them in my eyes, naturally. Um, I mean, it's pretty clear that I am a big old Doom fan. The first video I recorded, the first video I actually recorded was Doom. Um, I posted it later. But I, uh, that was the first thing I actually ever recorded with my mic. 
uh, and then recording just some miscellaneous Z-Doom was how I tested OBS. Uh, and now I'm here. Yeah, just pile those on. Nice. Good job, June. But yeah, hunters um, almost are vehicles more than soldiers, you know? Because these guys are soldiers, right? They're just dudes. But Hunter's, like, deployment is almost cheap. That was bad. Hunter's deployment is almost treated like the way that, like, a tank is sent down, you know? I dig that. Much better. Oh, that ain't good. Neither is that Falco. That's either another hunter or a uh, elite with a fuel rod. Trying to get fancy. Go get him, George. the fuel rod so the fuel rod cannon is the covenant equivalent of a Oops. cat you're kind of catching it uh, it's the covenant equivalent to a rocket launcher um, a really really loud noisy one actually hold on Can you give me I don't really want this gun, but I want you to have that one. Hey, guys, can you... Jeez. I kind of see elites as, like, space reuse, and humans as space can. Two sides of the same coin. I really like this game, y'all. I'm, I'm getting so into it that I keep forgetting to talk. And, like, I know that I also could absolutely just shut the hell up and just let this game speak for itself, because it's dope app. Oh, that didn't hit him? That sucks. That's too blue. I uh enemy AI does not track their gunshots. Oh, got him. Uh which is why you can and you can abuse the hell out of that as well. Because you can give um, Spartan lasers or rocket launches to buddies and then just have... Oh, right. You can have buddies what got infinite ammo. That's fine. I lost the uh, plasma pistol anyway. I really want to kill him as all. Well. Otherwise, I would run by. I really like how I wove and dodged into the uh, gunfire there. <laughs> that fire ain't exactly friendly, he says. Strength in numbers, says a bullet shield. Oh. Nope, oh, he's alive. 
Damn it. Does that Spartan look dead to you? <laughs> Does that Spartan look dead to you? Very Half Life 2 banter. This guy is cleaning my clock. The Fuel Rod Cannon is uh, one of the biggest guns that the Covenant has. It's also one of the only big guns that they trust the Grunts to use. Oh, he's dual wielding, a technique that I will never do. By that I mean double six. I do. The only way to do the new combo. Uh, they added dual wielding in Halo 2 as a surprising break of military protocol. Um, this may surprise some people, but uh, most militaries do not recommend that you hold two guns and leap into rooms like John fucking Wu. Uh, so it's kind of odd that like Master Chief would do it. Damn it, you're still alive. Pepper them with these. Actually, wait. Let's at least clean out the bridge. Needler uh, rounds home slightly, if you didn't notice. The same is not true of the larger equivalent, the rifle. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. See, as a kid, I always thought that this pistol was like the dinkiest, lamest little thing in the world. But now that I can appreciate the mechanics of the shield, because I was really dumb. I did not get how the shield worked. Like, I didn't really pay... It's, it's like how I played Pokemon. Just like, I'm just going to use whatever moves I think are cool, you know? I'm going to have a... I'm gonna have a team with just fire Pokemon, and they're all gonna use fire moves. You know, I'm a I'm a gym leader. But now, like a very valid way to play Halo, especially on the higher difficulties, is just oh, I tried armor lock. I remember that I had it just in time for me to die. A very valid way to play is just to keep a pistol on you at all times. Because hey, you know, you won't die. One of the very, very valid ways to play is in co-op to have more than one pistol boy, like plasma pistol, and then have someone else with a sniper weapon like a DMR or a rifle. And then as soon as you uh, pop, a, pop a shield, they follow up. This, like, the, the zero second follow-up is always the dopest thing to pull off. I've never played Lasso. I have played Legendary on uh, co-op. I've never played last one co-op. I might do that. So yeah, you can see here that the rocket launcher's actual intent is not to shoot men, but to uh, take down vehicles, which is why it tracks to things in the sky. Hey, you stole my kill. That's a meal. Long swords are one of the newer military ships. They are space ready and uh, atmosphere ready. Hey, it's the thumbnail. <laughs> Beautiful, ain't it? Someone should take a picture. Nice work, by the way. I aim to please. Five, six, get down to the science wing. Dr. Halsey wants a debrief and command saying we're all hers. Repeat? Sounded like you said Halsey. I did. Copy that on our way. Don't need command to tell me. Been all hers half my life. Such a beautiful game. I request 
requested your assistance, Commander, and do not need a report on events that occur on my own doorstep. What I do require is a detailed account of your previous engagement. George, it's been too long. Mom. What have you done with my armor? <laughs> Just some additions I've made. I jacked it out, Space Mom! Visegrad Relay. Its data center was home to one of my Xeno archaeologists, Professor Laszlo Sorgad. Perhaps you could shed some light on his death. If he was a civilian male in his mid-60s, he died with a Covenant energy sword through his abdomen. Elites, then. They engaged us as well. It was just, uh, just after we found your scientist's daughter, Mom. She was hiding in the... Irrelevant. Uh... The elites. Tell me more about them. Three. Zealot class. One got bias. The leader, from the looks of him. Zealot. You're certain? Their armor configuration matched. Shield strength, too. I gave the order not to pursue. Our primary objective was to get the station's relay back online. Your primary objective? Commander, are you a puppet or a Spartan? Ma'am? There are those at Oni, myself included, who believe the Covenant dispatch elite advanced teams to hunt down artifacts of value to their religion. Survivor accounts suggests such teams are small, nimble, and almost always zealot class. No doubt, they came to the station for the abundance of Oni excavation data stored there. And you let them get away. Data retrieval was not a command directive. Even had we known, we had other more urgent matters to attend to. That's warning the planet. Professor Sorvad's final entry in his field notes made reference to a latchkey discovery. Latchkey. Not a word he would use lightly. So let's hope that the data module your lieutenant commander stole contains it. Cat? Before you ask, I was alerted the moment you attempted to access its contents, as I am with any unauthorized tap. That data is classified tier one. I could send you to the brig for interfering with my work. Maybe you'd like to join her. I'm sorry? We're currently under emergency planetary directive, winter contingency. I'm sure you're familiar with the punishment for civilian interference with the Spartan deployment. Are you threatening me, Commander? Just making a reading suggestion, ma'am. Let's move, noble team. Mom? That will be all, George. All right. So, quick explanation there. Um, Dr. Halsey is... Oh, boy. No, not already. Dr. Halsey is the uh, lady responsible for... I'll come back to this, by the way. Dr. Halsey is the uh, doctor responsible for the Spartans. Um, she's also the one who invented Cortana, for those who know the later games. Let's see here. Uh, and Cortana is based off of her. Um, something that they do in Halo, the... Oh, Lord. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, Zealot. See, this is an Elite Zealot. Um, the color is because I picked white. I forget how to unlock all these. I only just downloaded this. But yeah, these guys don't show up on higher difficulties uh, with the skulls on. These are the stealth guys. Um, you may have seen them in the last one. I didn't really comment on them. We've seen a couple of these... This is essentially a mini boss, and then the zealots. This is the bastard who was shooting me with the fuel rod cannon. See, so yeah, the fact that you can play in, uh, play as an elite as early as Halo Two, technically speaking, is just like, yeah, that's how, uh, like, that's how closely matched they are. Like, they're close enough that there's no stat difference when you play as them in gameplay. There's so much to talk about, and I keep forgetting to damn talk about it. <laughs> um, but I digress. This is what I played with originally, back like in the Xbox 360 days. Not just because it looks cooler than most helmets, but because it's CQC, and I'm a big Metal Gear fan. This is the Canon one. It's that in gray. Um, I also played with this because I'm a VST fan. 
Uh, but I went with this because I'm dumb. I don't know. I have uh, I have wanted a recon helmet for probably a decade now. <laughs> Ever since I saw them in Halo 3. Uh, I'm here because I wanted to show the elite stuff and I wanted to show me changing my armor color on stream. Um, it's usually bad to be blue in this game because uh, there's two other blue Spartans here. I'll be Lavender. And then I'll change this to match. Perfect. Close enough. Um, anyway, yeah. The Spartans uh, were discussing how the elites were here to check out the stuff that Oni's been finding. Oni's been naturally finding stuff related to the Covenant. Is that Chief's crotch? Oni's been looking for stuff related to the Covenant and to the Forerunners, who the Covenant worship. So that's what their religion is based around. The Covenant was convinced that the Forerunners were like, hey, we want them to take over. You know, we want you guys to take over the galaxy after, you know, we did such a great job with it. They didn't, but, you know. That's where we are right now. So their war is a religious one. It's essentially a crusade led by the... Oh, what is their name? The Prophets, I want to say? But yeah, the Prophets found the Elites, and then all that kind of snowballed, and then they found the Kigiar and the Ungoy, or the Jackals and the Grunts, and the Grunts became Grunts, naturally, and the Jackals became Snipers and slightly more valued troops, and then the Elites became the stealth boys and commanders and uh that's where the that's where they are now um they've had contact with hunters i think hunters are actually smarter than most people give them credit for they just don't have vocal cords uh i think there's a piece of text somewhere where they describe a hunter speech as being felt and not heard oh boy i've been recording for almost an hour <laughs> um Oh, I love this game. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep playing actually. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this episode and then we're gonna come right the hell back. Actually, wait, I've got an idea.